Right, this track's called um, Do For You. It's basically um, about my family and stuff, and um, yeah, just listen to the lyrics. <laughs> Uh huh. I'm sure some of you know what that sample is. Turn it up a little bit. There's no mountain too tall. There's no ocean too deep. I'm walking in from the foot of the bed. Yeah, saying my name and I'm left to the competition. I say the tracks be a presence like that. This is a lucky business, I get the fuck you do it And I'm getting more busy than I have any business Trying to make moments for my green boot Without losing the focus of the dreams too It's not my heart when I'm watching all my kids too So it's not that they want to do it with you Because in the back of the life is where the shots do And you hear the dreams where it falls in the darkness But I guess you've got to travel to the depths of the cold To the depths of the cold Why I'm going back to the soul I've been a pain in the face
Via Dragon. <laughs> Guys, it sounds like you already know who I am. But I'll introduce myself anyway. Uh, my, name, my real name is Tommy Chong. I'm from Vietnam. And my greatest achievement up to date is I came here in 92, spoke no English, and here I am. So, still, still, I, get, I let it get the better of me because 90% of my music is still Vietnamese. I do very little music in English, but for you guys here tonight, we're gonna try to do a track in both Vietnamese and English. Yes. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. We're just gonna have to find the, the actual beat to it. So let's find number three. Uh, Please. Okay. This track name is Orange, but uh, let's just let the lyrics tell a story. Okay. Here we go. Coming off a 
cold. I don't usually sell this crap, but uh, <laughs> thanks, guys. I would like, thanks, guys. I would like to introduce our next artist. His name is Freddie. He's a percussionist. And uh, Freddie, get your ass over here. Come on. Well, that was great. I mean, hip hop, it's, it's music. Why is it music? Because they play what they sing, they sing what they play, and they say it in poetry, in motion, and they use anything possible to create the music. Same in percussion. As a percussionist, you can use anything to create music, like hip hop uses samples, bits and pieces of someone else's music. Yeah. Right. Percussionists, you have bells, you have blocks, you have steel, fiberglass, <laughs> wood. It all makes sound and it all makes music. It's up to you, especially when you're young. It's try it and you like it. In Africa and also in South America, when my teacher Raul taught me how to play congas, he said, it's not important that you write the music, it has to be here. Same with hip hop. It has to be there. Yeah? In Africa, the same. They say it. If you can say it, then you can do it. Play it. Oh, wow. Well. Hip hop. Say it. You can say, <laughs> say it. Say it. You play it. So I give you a bit of an example of the stuff that I would like to show some of the students at the school. And it's more also, hopefully, I can inspire some of you to do more than just thinking that everything is bongos, <laughs> which is my problem all the time. Everywhere I go, people come at me and they say, oh, these are nice bongos. I said, which one do you mean? Oh, uh, yeah, that one? I said, no, mate, those are called congas. Oh, okay. Uh, that one? I said, no. This is a Uru drum. These are bongos. I give you a bit of a demo for the things and the sounds that you can use with percussion. Percussion is like a force, it has dynamics. You can play it loud and strong, you can play it softly, you can whisper the music. So, I think that's always a very important thing about music, is dynamics. Like most things in life, nobody likes to hear a loud musician, nobody likes to hear a soft musician, but a musician that is diverse, sometimes loud, sometimes soft, and can play with that. It's very important. That's what I try always to explain to you students and young people, it's not, if you have a drunk kid, it's not about bashing it, it's about playing it. So sometimes you have to play soft. It's like talking. If I scream at you the whole time, you're not going to listen to me. It's with music. Some people, they scream at the music the whole time, you're not going to listen. So, I give you a very soft touch of an instrument here. This is called an Uru drum. Can you imagine somewhere in Africa, Nigeria in this case, there's this clay pot laying on the ground there, and it's broken. But there's a song being played. And in Africa, most of the songs are done by women. Because they are the ones that tell the children and keep the family together. And they do that by singing. And sometimes they will tap, this is actually a female instrument, they will tap on it and it sounds like this. Imagine, you're taken out of Africa and you're a slave and they say no drumming, no music, no nothing and you're there and you're a musician and you've been taken and while the slave masters are away you're in Peru, you're in Cuba because that's basically where this instrument comes from and there's nobody around and what they do is they softly sing and they play on boxes on crates. This is called the cajon. Later, it's been used also in flamingo. Some people think it comes out of flamingo, but it's the other way around. It's actually in spot flamingo, but it's from South America. And they got it from the slaves. And they used to play the crates. Softly. Can somebody get around or just do it?
put it in the forest and were sneakily playing when nobody was around. And so they did have their little scheme to do it. The funny thing is that some drums were derived from actually Western instruments, not just, you know, created, but they saw the classical orchestras and they thought, ah, oh, that's nice big drums, but we make them smaller and a bit sharper. The outcome was a thing called the timbalist. They actually, timpani, made small and compact. Now, in salsa, in Afro-Cuban music, this is what the drum kit would play as a rim shot or as a bell pattern or a hi-hat pattern. So it's all the high frequencies, basically, and strong accents. Yeah? Very important thing in salsa and in Latin music is a thing called the clave. The clave means the key. In French, the clé. Yeah? The key to the rhythm. It's a two-bar pattern. It's very important. All the rhythms, all the 4-4 four -four rhythms, are all circling around that pattern. So if you learn to play Latin percussion, that's the first thing you learn. And that's the first thing I learned, was the clave. And it goes like this.
make sure people are able to dance to it. If nobody's moving their head or their neck or their shoulders, you're not playing it right. Luckily, I see a few of you guys like that.
now that you've heard everyone, um, each one of the artists' um, skills, um, what we're going to try and do now is um, put everything together. Um, this is one of the big aims of, um, I think, this project is to get, you know, not only encourage each individual to do their own thing, but to work together as a band. So I'd like to call up all the artists to get behind their instruments. Craig on the sounds. Actually, where's my bass player? Where is he? Okay, I'm just going to do a bit of a sound check. Uh, this is called an MPC. Basically what it is is a sampler. It takes snippets of little samples, whether it be from record or a microphone or whatever, and you can put it on these pads and basically replay them to make beats, rhythm, percussion. Okay, I'm going to pass this over to me. Thank you. 